I I think this moment's dope. By the way, support Beyond the Summit FGC. This is their their YouTube channel. This is where I've been checking it out. Support this match. This is a great Tweety versus DJT. And uh, I feel like a lot of people haven't seen DJT around for a while. He's a beast, dude. DJT is a beast. He's a monster. He's such a good player. And you don't see him around as much these days, right? He wasn't playing. He hasn't been playing that much since MKX. So this is dope. Yeah, their Twitter is also BTSFGC. In my YouTube video link and description, you can find all the information for Summit and all that kind of stuff for this. All right, so Murata Baraka versus uh, Standard Variation Garrus. The thing is, is that we see in this matchup the patience of DJT really, really, really important. He does a great job of just chilling. And I think that when you see this, one thing is the way he walk and blocks in on this character is really impressive. Forward four, flawless blocks the down one after. Nice. No, that's a noise. Missed, missed the uh, forward four into the gutted after. Or chop chop. Down three. We see a lot of Garrus players try to do forward two and two and a down one after just because they like, they just want to check. They want to see if you're keeping them checked with down one after. Nice. That was a, a good space to throw the projectile afterwards. Yeah. See, that's not. DJT, this is a good example of projectiles in NRS games and how they work sometimes, right? Blocks it, reversal fireball. It beats or it forces him to duck, right? This range, you cannot do sand trap, sand trap to beat that fireball. But then once it goes back to full screen, it's like a little, you know, he's got more time to duck it. So that's why he's able to get the projectile in. Noise. Chop chop. Punish. That was perfectly played by DJT. It was. It was. That down two, early down two on the splash. Very important. You're going to see that a lot in this set. It's just been what makes DJT DJT. Yeah. The thing is, is that Marauder Baraka does a ton of damage. Nice anti air. Marauder, Marauder Baraka. Marauder Maraka does a lot of damage. And he's a very solid character. He's got a great down two. His down, uh, forward four is awesome. And he just spends a lot of the match playing very safe, very solid. All right, late breakaway. There wasn't that much damage left on that combo. But the amount of neutral in this match means that I think it's okay. Forward roll, forward two and two. Down three check after. We're seeing a lot of that because uh, Tweety has done forward two and two, down one. So he's mixing his options up now really well, right? He does forward two and two, and DJT does down three after to check, and then Tweety just jumps, or he does something else. I like it. I'm a big fan. Nice. Forward 2-2. Two, two. You don't see that much used that far away. Beautiful. He frame traps the throw attempt here. So he blocks back to minus five. Walks up to DJT and says, I'm going to wait, walk forward, make you think I'm going to try to do a throw. And that's when DJT does like a late button to try to tech or try to check him. Counter hit. Crushing blow. Yeah, early splash again. The splash is really, really, really solid. Tough, tough move to anti air unless you do it very early or you predict it. Like that. He missed the combo after. He tried down one into chop chop. Second hit on the forward three two. Dink. Now the thing is though, right? No, we're talking about how Mortal Kombat's not not realistic at all. Well played. I like that Tweety came out swinging with stuff like forward two and two. Into down one and other strings. And he was disrespecting a lot and then switched it up and was like, okay, now I'm just going to let you counter poke when you think it's the right idea and then take the damage I can get. Great delay. That was awesome. He just walked up and made DJT crack with the delay into the forward two and two. This is a good example of how NRS games have the back and forth turn taking. Four two one two is minus, but if you do something that's a high or if you do something that's super super slow, Garrus is going to be able to hit a button. So you see, uh, DJT. I'll go actually back to the first time he does four two one two. He does block four two one two. DJT checks after with down three. After you do your down three, 
you give up your turn, right? So he does a check to see if, if Tweety hits a button. Tweety doesn't hit a button. So boom, forward two and two again. Another check. Say, hey, you got to respect it. And after this check hits, you can jump out of the corner. He has enough plus frames. Then he goes down one. He blocks it. Reversal one, one. That's the main thing you have to look out for. This is big damage. The gutted. Oh, he doesn't want to go for it? Wait, what? Gutted, jump, forward four, gutted again. You can get it off of one one two. That's what he started with. Yeah, he just didn't want to do it there. He could have done it. He started with back three. He started with back three, right? So it was two hits in a, into uh, gutted. That forward four is really good. If you guys don't know, you don't have to finish the forward four four string with Baraka. It's a funny phrase. Because the forward four by itself is actually, um, it can mean safe on block. It can actually be plus two on block if you space it out really well. Nice. Clean with punish. Yeah, forward four by itself can be, um, damn, jump splash is good. It can be plus on block. And it, it's either minus two, anywhere from minus two to plus two. Fifty fifty, that could have killed him. Front throw. That was a good try from DJT. I think he read that. Man, that was really, really good patience from DJT. Nice anti air too. Forward roll. He tried to do standing one after he was a little late. That's a punish. And there's no breakaway, so you definitely got him here. So 38% plus an extra 10% DOT, that's big damage. He got a little greedy, I think, here. He tried to do jump kick, and then he did 1-2-2. Two, two. I think he wanted the counter hit into the crushing blow, but uh, just gets low profile by the down one. Out of range. If you're DJT here, you got to kill him, I think. Wow! I cannot believe that hit. First of all, he blocked forward 2-1-2 two two and did a reversal back forward 4. This is not what he wanted. I feel like he stand blocked, he hit back, and he hit forward 4, and then that came out or something. <laughs> I don't know. That was crazy. Down 3, down 3. Four four chop chop, chop chop is hard to punish. It's unsafe whether you do the early version or you do the late version. But you can extend it or not extend it, and if you swing into it too early, you get hit, and it does a lot of damage. So it's one of those moves that I feel like most people are just like, uh, I'm just gonna wait it out. Four four chop chop, twenty percent off of a stray four four that you didn't even have to confirm. But speaking of not confirming and stray hits, the thirty one percent crushing blow. Wow, up two? Yeah, you have to walk forward four there. Back three, one. You can finish that with the two at the end. It's an overhead, or you can just stagger the string and walk back. Oh, he walked right up into it. One, one, snatch off the body splash. So down two was a, a little late, I think. It's hard to answer like that. How minus is it? How minus is what? What are we talking about? Four, 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 second hit, counter hit. He doesn't spend the crushing blow on it a lot because he's looking for the um, corner crushing blow because you don't really get that much in this variation off forward four by itself without it. Yeah, back three. Grab him. You can gut him here if you want. Chooses not to spend it. Forward four by itself again. Nice anti air. He can do down one into gutted if he wants. He's going for chop chop because I think it's safer. G chop chop is really negative. Like, I don't know the number, but it's it's pretty damn negative. The problem is just that it's 
you know, when you're sitting there waiting for it, it's really hard to know when to actually try to punish it or not. I love the down three check. That was very safe. He even delayed it a little bit in case he did four, two, and two into the down back one. Baraka is just really solid on the ground in general. He's got his forward four, which is really, it's just far ranging, cancelable into chop chop. He walks fast. He's got an awesome fireballs. Awesome as Tranquilla Arma on dropping the Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. Up to again on the body splash. People have been reading that Tweety and other Garrus players are doing knockdown into body splash, which. I mean, you don't blame them. It's very it's very good. But if they read that they're going to start to do up two or uppercut on wake up or jump kick to beat it, they can just dash up and do forward two. Nice. Yep, sand trap after the forward two and two. That's a link. You can't cancel that. It's just you got to link it. One, one, back break. The highs just whiffed over him, and he tried to hit a button too late. So, uh, it does seem to me like DJT might not be quite as familiar with these variations. He has gone for a few weird things, like, you know, off that down one, he keeps going for chop chop, he keeps dropping. But yeah, he stays with the variation. Just like, I'm staying here to thank Breck Cut. Thanks very much for the tier one. Damn, you walked right up into the sand trap. This thing is, we see a DJT do a lot of walk and block, right? That's the majority of what he does in this matchup is walk and block, forward fours. Nice down one into the combo. This is big. Late, but Chop Chop is minus 17. That sounds right. It's just hard because you don't know if he's going to extend it or not. And if you're too early, you get hit, which, you know, sucks. You lose your chance to punish. Down one gutted. That's the combo we wanted to see. Walk up forward four, gutted again. I love the sweep. And then the delayed block and a jump back from Tweety. Mm hmm. Counter. He's dead. That's a shit ton of damage, dude. Punish. Oh. Bad punish. He could have done 1 1 2, gutted, etc., etc. Still, solid damage off that forward 4. Finish the string. That's like one of the first times we've seen it. Uh, you can punish jumps on their landing if they whiff a button. That's when it's easy to do. And it's very common. Wake up attack. Wow, he baited that and nothing. I love the delayed forward four, though, to beat the throw tag. Jump kick, walk up, forward four. And you see the down two came out? He tried to break the forward throw. Nice. He's not he's not canceling into the crushing blow off forward four four because you don't get anything off of it in this variation unless it's in the corner. So he's just not spending it because he's like, well, whatever. I can't get a combo off of it. Like, what's the point of spending it right away? Down to that body splash. He's seen it every time, right? Waited for the roll. Four four four. I love that neutral jump after too because the most common thing in the corner after you block something that's negative like this is going to be reversal throw them back to the corner. So neutral jump is pretty good. Man, DJT is chilling. I love that jump back, too, because he he was playing so safe and he tried to read something. That right there, he should have crushing blowed, the forward 4-4. Four, four. But this is gutted. He doesn't have breakaway. 10% extra damage, so he's only, he's only got 6% life left. Right, because he dropped him with 16% life, and it does 10% DOT. So Tweety only has 6% life left, which is why I love the block. Forward four, chop chop, nothing he could do. He was gonna take 10% DOT, which put him on 6%, and that's all you need for chip. Could have punished that with one, one, two into whatever. Forward four, chop chop, great choice. DJT is just like really cool, calm, and collected, you know? Yeah, you can control when any move crushing blows. If you have crushing blow held check on, you have to hold down the button for a crushing blow to come out. So you can always choose whether or not it comes out. Yeah, down three, down three. We see Tweety go back to it. Nice. We've seen a few times where DJT reads that he's going to go for these low sand traps, and he just has these big one, one, two into humongous damage punishes because Baraka hurts, man. Yeah, I 
That one with two is so good. And it's very good at, like, it's a very easy hit confirm. It's plus one on block. You can cancel into the fireball after. He's got no defensive meter. And you take the damage on this. It's 10% DOT. He's dead. Nothing you could do. Because the DOT is 10%, he's at 8% life, so it's going to get burnt down. So you just do, as soon as he delayed wake ups, you do forward, forward, chop, chop. And he's going to eat all of that chip from the bleed anyway, or the damage from the, ch the bleed anyway, so what are you going to do? Later, wait at one hand until death. Oh boy. There's a moment in the set where I knew who was going to win. Down three, down three. It hits. One, one, two. He doesn't have crushing blow anymore. Nice. I love that throw. He hasn't done that almost at all so far. Just like I haven't done my best to thank Torn Tiger. Thanks very much. Against Garrus, I mean, DJT's strategy is just to walk him down. It depends on what character you have, whether you can play slow against Garrus or you have to play fast. Try to bait a wake-up attack there, I think. Yeah, Tweety is trying to... He, he keeps reversal jump on a lot of these situations where his opponent does something. Which is fine, but uh, DJT is challenging with pokes, right? He's like low poking and he keeps catching him out of the air. Nice. It actually punished the back roll. Look at this walk and block from DJT. Man, he's so patient. This is when I knew DJT was going to win. I know he got hit by that, but I, I was so sure. He's so good. This is when I knew... like So this is what I mean by the example of patience that he has. Check this out. DJT walks all the way up into this space. Notice that what Tweety does is walk all the way up to right here. Right? All the way up. He, he moves all the way up in his face, and then he walks back. He tries so hard to bait DJT into hitting a button. He walked all the way up into his range and then walked back and was like, now it's time for you to whiff. Nothing. Walked up, blocked, nothing. Nothing. And then the jump, jump kick, which I think he tried a fatal blow and he just got stuffed or, or like it didn't come out. Walk up, block, reversal fireball. Walk up, just, he's just waiting. He's chilling. Walk up, block, wait. Walk up, block, wait. Blocks it down four. Doesn't wiggle. Safe little check. Nothing. Flawless blocks the final fatal blow and the perfect punish. He played so slow. His patience is out of control, right? He said he fatal blowed and got hit before it activated on the jump kick. Yeah, that sounds right. Super, super, super impressive. Walking up. One of the hardest things to do in fighting games is just walk up to somebody and block. That shit is rough, dude. Walking up to somebody and just blocking and not doing anything. You didn't buy this fighting game to not do anything. You bought this fighting game to fucking hit all the buttons on the controller. 